Hello and welcome back. This is video number seven and we're going to talk about software required in order to edit your videos. So in this particular video, we're going to show you what you need software wise to take the logo sting that you just created in the previous video. And then of course, add them into your video course. So obviously in this case, we're going to have to edit individual videos. So if you have 10 videos in the video course, you'll have to edit all the 10 videos. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need to have a video editor. You can use Camtasia or you can even purchase a cheaper version of some video editor as long as it gives you the ability to split in half the video. And that way, if you want to add it to the intro and outro, you can. That's usually pretty easy. You don't have to do a lot of edits. If you want to add a soundtrack, that's that's fine. You can do that as well. Or if you want to go further than that, you can cut the videos in their appropriate places. For example, the sections, if you were to have like the title videos and I'll show you how to do all of that. And even though it sounds a little bit complex that you're going to have to edit every single video, if you've never done this before, it really isn't. It really is easy as long as you have the right software. If you have the wrong software, however, I'm going to tell you that it's going to be a little more difficult to follow along. All right. So I like Camtasia. We've used Camtasia for literally decades. It's, it was one of the first screencasting software applications out there and it started with PC computers. So you may notice if you have a PC that the Camtasia has a lot more features than the Mac version, but the Mac version has really, really evolved over the years. So you still can do a lot of the basic stuff that I'm showing you right now, even though I'm on a PC. With that said, it's actually cheaper for Mac computers. In fact, the software for Mac is a lot less than the software for PCs. So the key to know is it's evolving and it's getting to that point. And I think within a few years, the Mac version is going to evolve almost to the PC version. Now, keep in mind on PC computers, it'll run you about $300 to get Camtasia. And while that does seem a little bit expensive to some of you, at the end of the day, it's a very good piece of software. It has a very, very good track record. And you can do so much with it in terms of editing screencasting videos. And especially if you want to add more value to your existing course in the future, Camtasia you're going to find will come in very, very handy. And if you are using a Mac computer, you can also get access to another really good software called ScreenFlow. And ScreenFlow, in my opinion, is, is good and decent, but I like Camtasia better just because I, I feel like when it comes to editing your videos, you need to have all the tools in hand. And I just feel Camtasia is just easier and it might be a personal preference. So if you're using ScreenFlow, then go check that out. If you're using another software, that's fine too. But I recommend that you get this so that you can follow along. 